All right, so um, this is a quick video to show you how the um, Ducati Diag works. Um, I know that there's a lot of um, glare coming from my laptop screen, but that's uh, a problem that lies with Dell and their inability to produce good laptops. Um, so what I'm going to do now is... Um, I'm going to adjust the idle trim settings because it's summer here now and my bike was a bit on the rich side and it's basically running way too rich right now. So uh, let me show you. Um, so I've already got the bike started. It should connect right now. Oh no, look, stupid error. Of course, uh, the cable is not going to connect uh, if your bike is not on. So, um, yeah, let's try that again. First, let's put the switch on. As you can see, I've got the DP ECU. All right. So it has connected. You could see um, all the parameters that you need to go to um, the trimmer. You go just to the trimmer function. Well, as you can see right now, uh, my CO is set to 7. I think that's a bit high. Um, well, to, to really get this going, you have to start the engine up. I'm trying to adjust it right now. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's pretty loud. You probably can hear what I was saying. Um, so, to get the CO adjusted, you first have to uh, put in the wished CO value. You cannot confirm it straight away, you first have to test it. Um, after testing it, so you press the test button, and then you confirm it with the confirm button. Um, to do this, the engine has to uh, reach at least 40 degrees Celsius, otherwise um, it just won't work. Let me see if I can get a better zoom. All right, that's better. Um, what I'm also going to do, whilst I'm at it, is um, let's see what the error module says because I have had some malfunctions. As you can see, it says um, here, system voltage malfunction and ignition coil B primary secondary circuit malfunction. Now, I've had that issue several times. It's recurring, but um, besides having some impact, it's not doing a lot. You you don't you don't notice anything except for when idling. So let's see. Um, Hi. Hi. Okay. So now I'm just gonna erase these errors. Well. They should. 
delete, but I don't know why. <laughs> Usually it works if you if you press the little icon button. It's not doing anything right now. Uh, you press the DTC to read it out. Maybe it works. Maybe not. Uh, in any case, uh, once you get an error, it gets stored into the ECU. So, unless you clear it, it will stay there. And I cannot clear it. It seems like the program is getting a bit slow. Probably has to do with my laptop. Let's put it on high performance. Yeah, let's see if if it works. If I exit and then try it again. Ha! Huh. Of course, that was stupid. Um, yeah, you need to have the contact on. That's. Yeah, just a little dummy. Okay. Whilst we're at it, always um, reset your TPS. So I'm just going to make sure that it is at 3.3. .3. So it should be somewhere around 3.3, 3.2, maybe even 3.4, but that's a bit, yeah. Oh, that's stretching it. Um, to do a reset, you just press TPS reset. It goes through an entire cycle. And it's done, as you can see. Um, I can also reset the service indicator, but I'm not going to do it because otherwise I might forget that I still have to service my bike at the moment. Uh, because the little uh, wrench icon has come up. Alright, so uh, that's it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed.